The news coming out of the White House today, like much of the country, caught the attention of Andrew Aoki. Well, like everyone, it's a stunning development. Aoki, a political science professor at Augsburg University. It's unprecedented. Um, obviously, there have been a few presidents who've had health problems. He says most notably Woodrow Wilson. Wilson, the 28th president of the United States, suffered health problems towards the tail end of his presidency, but he was in his second term and not seeking re-election. We never had this happen where so close to the election, a president has a potentially serious illness. President Eisenhower suffered a heart attack while in office, but that was over a year before his reelection. We've never had a moment quite like this where somebody on the cusp of an election, you know, a major party candidate finds themselves unable to, um, to sort of campaign. David Williard, an associate professor of history at St. Thomas. He says the country is designed to still function when situations like this arise. Personalities matter, but structures matter even more. And the procedural um, guarantees are, are what keep a constitutional democracy functioning. Brian Pyatt, Carol Evan News.